Hi guys, I'm Kaboom! Yes, and welcome to the channel. And guys, if there's one piece of advice I could give to any Town Hall 13 player, it would be that you need to learn this attack strategy, which is the Royal Champion Invisibility Walk. It is absolutely amazing. So I put together a quick video today just giving you a general overview of the Invisibility Walk and some quick tips for you to take away and try. Your army is going to consist of 16 yetis and 3 wizards. Nice and simple. Your spell is going to be 10 invisibility spells and 1 free spell. Your Denali clan castle troops, 2 yetis, a valk and a barbarian by the name of Bob. And your Denali clan castle spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top. Normally you're going to be using a wall wrecker or the new an amazing log launcher. So here we go, guys. We're going to sort of not concentrate too much on the main attack. We're just going to mention it. So three yetis left, three yetis right. Log launcher lined up with some primary targets in the center there. Heroes behind. And that's the main stage of your attack, the initial stage, sending in the main army. Now, guys, we haven't put the Royal Champion in yet because what I like to do is look at the battlefield, see how the battle unfolds, and then decide, okay, we can send the Royal Champion in over on the right or on the left. So at the moment, there's some Yetis over on the right. On the left, we're not looking too good on the left. There's just one wizard. That's William the Wizard, and he has just been taken out by a Tesla. So, yes, you can use some of the invisibility spells to help out your main troops in the center of the base, but we're going to try and keep most of them for the Royal Champion. I'm sending her in on the left-hand side. Now, I don't want to waste invisibility spells on sort of targets that don't do too much damage. Scanner shots, Inferno Towers, Expos, things like that, yes, and the Grand Warden as well. So put that invisibility spell down so it covers the Royal Champion, but not the defence you're trying to target. Because if you cover the defence, it becomes untargetable, which basically means your Royal Champion will ignore it. Now, we really need to put down, yeah, there we go. We really need to put down an invisibility spell there because the single target inferno locked onto the royal champion use her ability when you need to there we go and we've now taken out that inferno tower just keep planning where you're going to use an invisibility spell next we don't need to use it on the mortar archer tower there yeah okay uh, we're about two-thirds health and at the moment guys you know we don't really we've got how many left five left uh, she's going to clear the base. There's there's no need to use them. I'm just sort of showcasing how you do use them. It takes practice. Sometimes you will cover the defense that you want to take out. And if that happens, it doesn't matter. Just try and remain calm. Try to avoid clan castle troops and any sort of heroes. You can take out the enemy queen, although I'd rather stay in away from any kind of enemy heroes because it just complicates things. That's why you should wait to sort of the initial stage of the attack is over before deciding where to use your Royal Champion. We're just going to hide that, uh, hide the barracks there, guys, because why not? Because we can. Uh, I've, I don't want the, the Royal Champion to take out those barracks because, uh, because it's just not fair, guys. Uh, so we're, gonna, we're not going to get three stars. We don't want to get three stars now. We're just going to hide the barracks. No, I'm joking. We're going to go back and take them out in a moment. So there we go, guys. Just a really quick overview showcasing the Royal Champion invisibility walk just practice your deployment of spells get your invisibility spell up to level four as quickly as you can the royal champion up to level 25 and just take your time that's the main thing i can sort of say take your time and don't send her in too early so there we go guys hope you've enjoyed the video let me know in the video comments do you like the new invisibility walk will you be using it and if any other questions you need just put them there and i'll try and answer them as quickly as possible thanks for watching samu signing out i will catch you later remember there's more awesome videos on the end screen here that you can check out.